temple in China having a dangerous path, we have a temple in India which is also having a dangerous path to reach. We are now presenting an ancient temple which has a great importance for its uniqueness. This is one of the temples that has a dangerous path to reach. One has to tread through a narrow path, ignoring the valley just by the side of the path. The narrow path covered with pebbles and stones is mostly wet due to constant waterfall from top of the hill. Most often the path is wet and slippery. Despite this, pilgrims choose to visit this temple. Even though the temple authorities have made a good uphill road, pilgrims select the difficult and dangerous path to reach the temple. This is how it has been going on for decades till now. It is the Ahobila Temple, situated near Arlagadda village, Karnool district in Andhra Pradesh. This temple is unique as its presiding lord, Sri Jwala Narasimha Swami, is accompanied with all his other nine forms or Nava Narasimha forms worshipped at one place, that is Ahobila. Ahovilam is the abode of Lord Narasimha, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu in man-lion form. The temple is located in the dense forest of Nallamala. Nallamala mountain range spreading from Karnul to Chitur is revered as Adisesha of Lord Vishnu. Tirupati is on upper portion of the mountain range presided by Lord Balaji temple. Ahovila is in the middle and Sri Sailam, presided by Lord Mallikarjuna, is on the lower end of the mountain range. Ahobilam is placed amidst Garudadri, Vedadri and Achalachaya hills. The hills carry Bhavanashini river, a relentless stream of waterfall imbued with essence of all the herbs that keeps the place cool and pleasant. There are 13 more such streams decorating the hill range gently with waterfalls. There is a story behind the Narasimha Avatara. Almighty is omnipotent and omnipresent. The supreme power is in every atom of the universe. Lord Vishnu takes the form of lion-headed human to kill Hiranyakashapa, a demon king. Prahalad, the son of Hiranyakashapa, is a great devotee of Lord Vishnu, whom Hiranyakashapa hates. Vishnu saves Prahalad from many punishments given by his father. Vexed that Prahalad is not stopping the chant of Vishnu's name, Hiranyakashapa asks Prahalad to show the presence of Vishnu in a stone pillar. Prahalad says, the Lord is omnipresent. Vishnu, in the form of lion-headed human, breaks out of the stone pillar and kills Hiranyakasapa. After this, the Lord widely roams the hills with enormous energy, roaring as ears split. His anger is subdued to an extent with the advent of Mahalakshmi, the consort of Vishnu, in the form of Chenchu Lakshmi. One can see the stone pillar depicting the Lord in the temple. The place consists of 10 shrines of Lord Narasimha. Surrounded by beautiful nature, Ahobila is wonder and aesthetic to watch. The temple is divided into two parts, Upper Ahobilam and Lower Ahobilam, called as Eguva and Diguva Ahobilam respectively in the local language. The place consists of 10 shrines of Lord Narasimha. 
located within 5 kilometers of radius the nine forms of lord narasimha swami in ahobilam are jwala narasimha ahobila narasimha malola narasimha krodha narasimha karanja narasimha bhargava narasimha yogananda narasimha chhatravata narasimha and pavana narasimha of these nine shrines yogananda chhatravata and bhargava narasimha swami shrines are in lower ahobilam as all the nine forms of lord narasimha are worshipped here this place is also called as nava narasimha kshetram abode of nine forms of lord narasimha and the temple of lord narasimha swami is in the lower ahobilam where the idol of lord is believed to have been installed by lord venkateshwara of tirupati the lord in this shrine can be called as the 10th form of lord narasimha swami this temple is also called prahlada varadan temple apart from these shrines there is ugra stambham ugra means fierce stambham means pillar it is said that lord vishnu appeared in the form of narasimha from this mountain in response to his devotee prahlada prayers and hence the name ugra stambham it's called as achala chaya parvata since its shadow does not fall anywhere there is an iron pillar on the top of this stambham and it is believed that one attains salvation if he or she makes three pradakshinas around the iron pillar devotees from far and near visit this place and gain the happiness of receiving blessings from the lord narasimha best time to visit ahobilam is between august to december as the forest is in its full bloom and lush green with many water streams and waterfall flowing full fledged